Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here, and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved with some more docks. Yeah, freaking boy, we're back, and we have some stuff to show off. I have done stuff to the base. We have made it bigger, and remember I had that little brainstorm idea, I can't remember what episode it was, but uh, I've added a second floor, so we can put more stuff in here. So there's more room in the cave. You know, we're making use of tight spaces. So what I've done, I've uh, put foundations all along the floor. So there's not just water and stuff knocking about. It feels like a bit of a home. And then up here on the second floor, we have a, a little balcony just because I didn't want to put the ceilings all the way out there. We've got a second bed, which is always good. And then we have a generator. We have a fabricator and we have a terminal and then this just goes all the way around here and we have another little light balcony so i feel like we've made use of the small space we had um titan dragon consumes you that's terrifying that means there is a dragon above us let's just pretend like that didn't happen so terminal now this is where you store all your creatures that are in the soul ball now I wasn't going to use one of these because if something does come and destroy the base and all my creatures are in there, they could all be lost. However, because this is my server, because I am an admin, because I pay for this server and everything, there's actually an admin mode on here. If we go here, it's actually invincible. So everything in there is safe. Just for me. All the other patrons don't have this, but we do have a little safety net. So this will never be destroyed. So every creature in there will be safe. So that is just like a little perk for us. So it'll probably help with content, you know, in case the base gets created, we ain't gonna have to spend seven days building back up. So I just thought, you know what, that's a nice little thing. So since last episode, also, I hatched the, uh, the Void Wyvern. Because I got told by one of the patrons that we don't need to give it any, um, like, meat or kibble or anything. And it was true. So we can ride it. I've not tested it out. We're going to do that today. And while we're here, I'm going to pop these in here. I'm just going to keep everything safe. That's my man's call. We need to get that ridden. There's me, Rock Drake. So all these creatures are freaking safe, boys. So, plan of action today. Everyone commented on last video with the pygmies of how blind I am about the Tranodon. <laughs> everyone time stamped the video. I know I'm blind. I didn't see that Tranodon, but everyone was telling me to get a Pygmy RG because it can summon stuff and it's amazing. So I want to get one of them today, which means we're going to have to get some more of that food, which means we're going to have to kill uh, another a compi. So I'm going to try that out with the Void Wyvern we've got today. It's a little risky, but I reckon if the Apex Rex can do it, the Void Wyvern can. We'll have to like test it out and see how good it is. So, that's going to be our plan of action. You know how Ark is. I'm sure other stuff will happen and get in the way, so we'll just kind of wing this. <laughs> so, if you do enjoy the episode at any point, make sure you're whacking a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribing, ring the bell, never notifications, all that stuff. Uh, check the description for a link for all our social medias. We are posting very regularly on Twitter right now. I'm getting into the swing of things of posting like, you know, little bloopers from episodes and like sneak peeks. So if you want to be in that, make sure you follow in the, uh, the Twitter and stuff. And then question of the day. Today we have from Minecraft Dino Kaiju. What is the tastiest food you've had? Um... So I love a Nando's. For those of you in the UK right now, you'll know what a Nando's is. For those of you around the world, you probably won't. But Nando's is like a chicken shop. Uh, it's a chicken restaurant and it's it's beautiful. I, I just have to go there all the time. I want to say it's like the overliest tasted thing I've had. But when someone says good food, that's all I ever think about. So I'm going to go for Nando's. But let me know your tastiest foods down below. Right. So what do I need to make treats again? Uh, oh, you know what? Do you need to pop use in the terminal? Oh, yeah, we've got loads of fertilizer now and stuff as well. <laughs> oh, you know what else? We do need to feed a creature some mutagen at some point because that makes them better, don't it? I forgot about that. Uh, so what do we need for this? Oh, I don't have to fire compare. I forgot about that. We just need a fertilized dodo egg, which we could definitely do. Well, we're still going to fire compi anyway because I want some more meats because these don't spoil. So... Let's go get, let's go put these Tronodons away. Let's get this Wyvern out. We're going to test him out and see how good he is. And then we can come back and do, uh, get them treats. And then we can fly out and get, uh, hopefully an RG Pygmy. Right, I'm not going to lie. 
I'm a little terrified to come out here. It's, there's there's the dragon. So I'm just going to sip some of this. Uh, we're going to throw this out. I'm going to get on you. And we're just going to fly to a little bit of safety. We'll check his levels and all that stuff in uh, a hot second. So this wyvern, we stole his egg after he killed our Pteranodon, right? When we was taming the dodos. We definitely kind of uh, looked out and maybe cheated a little to get it, but it still counts. So can I just chill up here? I'm just scared of freaking them poison balls, man. That thing was terrifying. So let's have a look. So health-wise then, I want to say that's more than the Rex had. I'm going to just pump in three more levels. I can't remember without looking back, but I think that's more than the Rex had. I'm also just going to pop this on. Does that give my dino more health? No, it does not. So, there's just normal Dimetrodons and Dimorphodons. Okay, that's definitely stronger, right? That's definitely stronger than our Rex. Let's just kill everything here. Get all the XPs. I'm definitely feeling that is stronger. I reckon we could take on a Prime Comp easier. I'm liking the power we've got. Um, I thought we would get a few levels from killing all of that, but apparently not. That's fine. We'll find some bigger to fight. Let's head back this way. So prime compies, apparently they're not actually that rare of a spawn. It's just I am blind. <laughs> so I struggle to see creatures when they're right in front of me. Hey, Mr. Bronzo, you'll do. You'll do for a bit of XP. Nice. You know what would make this dude really good? If you had some sort of like bleed damage, that would be pretty neat. Right, thank you. Uh, stamina isn't the greatest. Uh, let's kill an apex. Let's just kill a turtle. Are you normal compass? You are normal compass. What is going? What is happening down here? Why are these? What? Why are these bushes being destroyed? They're like there's bits flying everywhere. There's nothing down there. I'm scared. What is happening? Why are these bushes being destroyed? What? What is... Like, they are being, like, obliterated. What is happening? What are you doing this? Is there, a, is there a crazy creature down there? Um... Okay. I'm gonna leave that area. Because I'm a little bit scared and worried. Like, it's breaking bushes there. Then it'll break it over there. I I am scared. I am scared. We're going to avoid the dragon. However, I don't think he attacks us unless I attack him first. I just, I just want to get a couple more levels before we fight. There we go. That's what I want. Before we take on the compare. Just want that little bit more health. Just a little bit more health. Bronto's used to should do it for me. Oh, we got four levels from that. All right. All health. All into health there. All right. Now we need to go and search for a prime compare. So where did we find the last one? Uh, in the, like the ravine place. I'll probably head there again because we actually found like all the pygmies there and you lot did tell me that if you attack a pygmy, that's when King Kong and them flying monkey bat things come after you. So when we do tame our RG, we've got to be careful not to attack it. Also, apparently I got super super lucky that episode. Apparently people do not normally tame pygmies first try and when you evolve them, apparently that really never happens first try. And we tamed both our dudes first. Oh, God, there's a lot of stuff down there. We tamed both our dudes first. Oh, God. Oh, God, I thought you'd all die in one hit. And we uh, evolved them all in one go. So we got, like, super, super lucky that episode. So we'll have to see if that happens again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like that. Okay. It just said there's a nest protector near us. I didn't see a nest. I don't want a nest. I don't want to deal with that. I'm just here for a compare. Okay. That was a little bit scary. I didn't like that. Okay, so we've got like Microraptors, Carnos. So yeah, we found the compi like down, actually like ground level. 
But we found all the pygmies around here. So I'm just going to knock about here and see what we can find. So the compies are... They're not overly small. They're probably the size of a, a regular Dilophosaurus. So, I mean, still a little bit tricky to spot. But, uh... We know what we're looking for this time. Oh no, oh no, 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 okay, okay, bad, 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 very, very, very bad, very bad, very, very, very bad, very bad, oh no, this is not what I wanted, sir, please, can you bugger off, please, can you bugger off, oh, I, why, why, why even so hard to fight in the sky with, we're, we're buggered, we're buggered, we're buggered, because you have a really strong bite, Titties, 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 on my face. Ugh. I passed like four different, um, you know, there's a nest nearby. None of them aggro to me apart from that dude. And I hate wyvern fighting. Wyvern on wyvern fighting just does not happen. It is the stupidest mechanic they have in R because it is impossible to fight. Ah, well, there goes a Void Wyvern. He didn't last very long. At least we kept our helmet. Ah, oh, god damn it, man. That's annoying. Well, what we're going to have to do, again, as we seem to have to do every episode, we're going to have to breed some Tranodons up because then we've got a creature to fly on. But I also need to do my Dodos breeding up to get them eggs to make them uh, them treats. So what I'll just do now then, just give me a few minutes to get all this shit done. Ah, I just kind of need all of these females really, don't I? Uh, is that them all? It was definitely dodos, right? We need dodos for the treats. Dillos for the, uh, the evolution stuff, right? Yeah, dodos. All right. Let me breed everything up, get everything raised, and uh, I'll be back <laughs> in a bit. Oh, god damn it. I hate this game sometimes. And welcome back. So, we got some eggs. We got some pteranodons. And I say some because we got twin girls, which is amazing. Which means we don't have to breed them when, you know, inevitably this one dies. <laughs> but we can make our treats now. So, we should be able to make four of these. Perfect. So, we've got them. And we can now pop them into there. We're now going to go and search for a pygmy RG this time. Apparently, that is the one you get. Now, before we do go anywhere, because a lot of you tell me I don't read the book. I do read the book, just not very well. So, pygmy here. So, I looked at this page, and I didn't realize I could click on this, and it tells you kind of what they do. So, we have the dodic. So, it tells you... Uh, what it needs to evolve, what it does. Evolve to stage 2 for double the effect. Stage 3 is the prime variant, so that's some that we can ride. Um, so he's going to be, like, pretty strong. But if we do the Argent... Oh, apparently I just threw my trend on out. So any tree for the second stage. Third stage, prime Argent requires 25% or 25 plus of any meat. When he's a pygmy and is mounted, you get 500% XP increase. Uh, 7.5 melee, 7.5 defense, stamina regen during battle. We need the Argent, man. Can also evolve in Prime Compi by acquiring below items by killing and collecting. Well, anyways, pretty much the RG can spawn minions, and which is apparently, like, amazing. So we're going to have to go out and find that. Are you ready, Tyranodon? Let me just get this book off. I do read this book, everyone, just not all the way. I get bored of reading. So I need to be extra focused. I need to, like, check every creature we see. Um, maybe avoid these RGs here. So there was apparently a Tyranodon that we saw, like, around the corner here. Which I was just blind to. So it means that the Pygmies do spawn, you know, pretty much everywhere. Seagull, are you going to fight me? Because I will fight you back. Okay, we're back. Uh, we found an RG we want. Uh, Argentavis Pygmy 980. Also found the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life. And, uh, I'm not really about that. Uh, right, so this dude actually flies around. So, uh, oh, you're a pygmy dodic? No, you're a normal dodic, right? So, we need this thing to land. Or, I guess we can maybe build the cage thing. 
Because I'm guessing as soon as we get close to this dude, he's going to, like, zoom off. And he's kind of flying right for that manticore, which is not very ideal. Um, all right. It's kind of a beautiful red color. All right, sir, can, can you do a land? Oh, there's a nest down there. Can we stop flying straight? Oh, no, there's a nest protector. Yeah, I know there's a pygmy nearby. I'm trying to get it. Uh, you could not have been in a worse place. Oh, wait, what? How did I scare you? Oh, does that mean King Kong's here, or is that only if I hit it? Can you, like, not go right next to him? Is that another one down there? That's a vulture. Oh, uh, I really want that, but there's a big, massive... <laughs> He's going to fly right to the manticore, isn't it? Oh, God damn it. Okay, he's flying back a little. He's flying back. We just gotta be careful because the nest there means that there's a nest protect, which is clearly the manticore. <sighs> I don't know what his aggro range is gonna be like. Oh, apparently it's big! Apparently it's big! <laughs> okay, alright, alright, alright. We have another try done. It's okay. It is okay. We're just gonna leave that, uh, um, that RG there. It is dark as shit in here, man. We're going to leave that RG there, and um, I'm going to have to try and find another one, because that is the worst place for one to be right now. Right, luckily, we have a backup Tranodon. We have a backup Tranodon, and because we realized how fast that was, can we make the cage? Um, I need a little bit more wood, rather wood. All right, let me go grab some wood. I'll go searching for one again. Third time's a charm, right? Okay, we're back again, and literally just before we found the Arger, which is uh, not too far from a base, um, all the Titans seem to have left the Ark. Okay, I don't want to get too close. Uh, apart from Mr. Rex over there. Uh, I just got loads of notifications saying, like, the Titan Dragon left, the Titan Queen left, and there was a big Titan Dragon here that just disappeared. So, we, you know what? I feel like a bit of luck might be happening here. Uh, and I mean, if you could, like, why do you like just fly in straight lines? That's it. Right. So if you could land on here, I do have a cage that I can run and pop on you. Please land. Please land. Damn it! He went underneath it. Bull sacks. I love how the first two pygmies we got. Absolute breeze. I thought that was the easiest shit ever. The one we actually want here... Uh, it's not looking too good. <laughs> it's looking a little bit difficult. It's not in the best area. There's ravagers. There's obviously the wrecks. There's centipedes there. I did see a, a filer, I think, somewhere. Damn it. Bull sacks. This is really hard to judge, you know. <laughs> Don't judge me on my judging skills. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep following him as long as he doesn't land near that terror bird. Actually, we'll probably be able to fight him if we have, to, if we need to. Okay, I can actually use the trap in the air. And boom! No, it didn't place! God damn it. Again. Oh, it doesn't place on him. Oh, wait. Oh, balls! He, like, flew through it, man. Oh, that was the one. I don't even know if we can cage him. Going down again. Last chance doing the trap. So does he just, like, land? God damn it. Oh, Anki's pissed. Are you just running away? Nope. Are you angry at me? Okay, the trap does not work. Trap does not work. Never do that. Okay, Anki, shit on you. Uh, RG, where did you go? You was flying this way? Alright. Damn it, I did not mean to scare you then. My bad, my bad. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Don't go this way. It's ba there's bad stuff over there. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh no! Tranodon! Oh, I fell off the freaking cliff, man! Oh, I'm like stuck in these rocks and the griff- the RG's coming down! God, Tranodon, get away! The RG's, the RG's down. Oh, we just missed it. 
God titty damn it, man. This is so stressful. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong today. We're having no luck. All right, so it looks like we did just find out. The RG does actually land. So we just got to wait. We're going to just have to wait for him to land. This might be it. This might be our chance. Okay, and we go boom. And we go boom. Eat, be friendly with me. Did it work? I'm guessing not. Um, I put them all in, right? Failed? Oh! Ah! Oh, no! Ah! Okay, failing also summons a big dude. Um, all right. Success! We got him! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, titties. Okay, hang on. Oh, is my RG going to eat him? Oh, I don't know what's happening. Okay. No! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, we spent so long getting him. And his bodyguard killed him. Oh. I have spent, I think I was f about half hour, 45 minutes. Just following that damn RG about. Oh, <laughs> we had him. I need to get another Pteranodon. I need some more Dodo eggs. <laughs> oh, God damn it. We had the RG. Um, I don't have time to breed them again. It's going to take me 11 hours. God damn. I don't have any creatures to get about on anymore. Or like, I don't even have any treats because they're all in the RG. That was it. That was our, our chance. I can't believe we had it. I should have whistled passive. <sighs> all right. Well, the only thing we've got left to do is maybe get us <laughs> a, a Rex. Or s I need something, man. I need something. Oh, I cannot do anything else for the rest of this episode. Tomorrow will be fine, because I can breed the uh, Tranodons again. Um, oh God, I forget, I think here's really speedy as well. I was going to say, like, yeah. there was that nest near where we tried to get the first RJ. Like, obviously, we can't get the RGs anymore. Dodos can't breed in time. Okay, there's stuff going on there. I'm just going to run. And I'm just going to see what's going on up here. It ate a tree and it failed. It then ate the second one. You know, Apex Griffin, can I knock you out? Like, there, there probably is two treats on its dead body. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, you know what? You know what? what? Right, I'm going to have... I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to see if I can get my treats. Um, So, they're over here. Can I spawn over here? I'm going to see if I can uh, leave that. Okay, so I need to go to that island. I might be able to snag two treats back. And then... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, this this isn't happening, is it? <laughs> I just want to take my... I just want my treats back. And then maybe we could get that other first one we found. Uh, I see monkey. I see monkey. Does he not despawn? All right, where did my... I think my RG should be in the corner up here. Oh, uh, no, monkey. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. I, oh, I was so close. I was so close. I was just there. Oh, God, there he is again. All right. Um, there's a kind of, oh, God, he's right there. He's right there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right, that's not happening. That monkey is guarding that little dude with his life. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a little bit of a shorter episode today because they, I cannot do anything until uh, until I get that Tranodon, which is 11 hours. My Dodos ain't ready to breed for 6 hours. So, today is going to be a massive fail day. We have pretty much lost everything. We've gone way backwards. I mean, it's, we've still got two pygmies. Alright, so what I'm going to do, um, after I've edited this episode, I'm going to go out and tame an Apex Rex. And then we can hopefully get ready for next episode. We can start by just killing the Prime Compare. Hopefully getting some Prime Kibble and giving it to the Manticore. Uh, because apparently the Manticore is one of the best teams. And then maybe get an RG. We will see. That's going to be the plan. But today, 
Massive L. We're taking a massive L on today. F in chats, all that stuff. Um, if you enjoyed me suffering, make sure you do whack a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell. I am stressed. I am sad. I am tired. I am going to go lie down and have some ice cream. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.